Quant, a 1960s female designer whose products were intended to be worn by emancipated women. The concept was to create shorter hemlines to empower women. From this birthed the miniskirt. Mary Quant said, a woman is only as young as her knees. Her first creations followed London's couture traditions. Even in the early years, her garments were seen as worn by the audacious, as so famously seen to be worn by 60s icon and model Twiggy. In October 1955, she teamed up with her husband to open a clothes shop on the King's Road in London called Bazaar. Quant searched for the clothes she herself wanted to wear, selling mini skirts, funky dresses, bright tights and bras called booby traps to young people. In less than 10 years, her clothing designs were world famous, selling in 150 shops in Britain, 320 stores in the United States and throughout the world. Quant herself acknowledged how the trend for rising hemlines was influenced by an emerging London street style and a wider cultural shift towards the informality and the breakdown of social codes. The end of the 60s saw a peak like never before in androgynous fashion. Women realised that they were no longer limited by conventional female styles or silhouettes, using fashion as a way to fight against the male gaze, allowing women to reclaim fashion as an art form of self-expression, using clothes to lack conformity. In 1968, Quant summarised, Now that the clothes were different, the face was wrong. Fashion had changed dramatically, but makeup had been left behind. She wanted to streamline cosmetics. Quant signed a contract with Stanley Picker, the American owner and chairman of Gala Cosmetics. The Quant makeup launch was preceded by 18 months of development. She celebrated colour in all of its spectrum, and this had a huge influence on how women saw makeup as an instrument of self discovery and self expression. Without this revelation of empowerment to women, we wouldn't be where we are now in terms of the evolution of experimentation within clothes and makeup. Mary Quant took the first steps towards triggering a wave of shorter hemlines, which are highly apparent in today's society and shopping. Here is an image from a photo shoot I assisted, which provokes a modern day sense of power and liberation, with the essence of Quant's shorter hemlines clearly apparent. Quant was credited with many revolutionary developments, which included the mini skirt, tights dyed in bright solid colours and the use of plastics and PVC. You could argue that Quant's evolutionary products have had an impact on most women's wear designers as the mini skirt is viewed as a staple item for many women. Brands which are doing this well are Versace, Chanel and Burberry and high street stores including Topshop and ASOS making the mini readily available. The list is endless. As Mary Quant said, Everybody can wear just the things they want. Um, the hemlines they want. 